like I have a new toy that I'm opening up, a new present, put it that way. A present that I'm opening up, <laughs> a gift that I'm opening up. And let's say this is a gift from the universe. I'll take it that way. A gift from the universe to the collective. These, um, I'm getting ready to do a reading. I'm just going with the flow, following, you know, my heart just going with the flow. But this is a new uh, card reading that I ordered and it's called Who Do Tarot? About a year ago, uh, a young man that I know, he mentioned the word hoodoo and I had never heard that term before it, and it to me it sounded like voodoo so it was like automatically I dismissed it as something evil even though now I know even voodoo is not considered evil it's just another culture probably more so our history as far as black people um, you know what their original religion was voodoo Africa I'm not sure I, I don't know that type of history but um, I, the term hoodoo again it reminded me of voodoo which I consider I, I don't think I'm going to be interested in that it, it seems on the dark side of things but to this day I know now that's not what it is. It's not considered dark. I assume th that maybe they can use it for dark reasons, but um, I'm not on the level of believing that it is, you know, of darkness. I just saw either a vulture or <laughs> a big rape, a big bird just fly over back that way but um, again I feel like I'm opening up a gift and I'm going to use it and receive it as a gift from the universe from God to speak to the collective so let's open up and find out together what is being told to us as far as to help us stay on course with our spiritual journey so we could grow closer to the divinity that's within us and that is our creator as well we could grow closer and maybe I need to be reading the directions or instructions but um, I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna go by the cards or whatever and I'm not even gonna do it intuitively but maybe I may do it intuitively and um but I'm, I'm basically going to be reading it from the book. And as far as I know, some of this is a lot of our black history as well. So, but let's see what's going on. I'm excited. I'm excited. And you know what? I have the microphone. As a matter of fact, I don't believe I turned the microphone on. That way it can block the wind blowing or the sound of the interstate. One moment. Okay, let's see how this sound is going to work because I, I have the mic on top of the camera because right now I'm sitting outside and the wind is blowing it's a very beautiful day and um, the noise from the traffic I didn't want it to interfere with what's being heard but let's shuffle the cards and let's see what's going on with our new gift from Hoodoo Tarot and again, I think a lot of it has to do with our history, black history, stuff that we really haven't learned before, heard before. But we're going to receive all that's good, pure, and lovely from the divine, from the creator, from God, the angels, ancestors, the universe, all that is good, pure, and lovely 
let us know the directions give us updates give us uh, confirmation on our you know moves to make and decisions to make on our next steps journey on our journey thank you for it. thank you father thank you universe thank you angels ancestors and hoodoo tarot all that is good pure and lovely that helps us grow closer to the divine okay i'm shuffling i was shuffling oh i hope the wind doesn't blow the uh cards Hope the wind doesn't blow the cards away but just in case let's see okay we have ten of sticks Nine of sticks and nine of coins. So let's see what these three tell us before we pull any more. And let's see, ten of sticks. And this is by Tayana Lee McQuiller. I ordered them off of Amazon as well. Okay, let's see. Ten of sticks. Let's see if they have a... Alright, that's page 109. Okay, ten of sticks on 109. Let's see what it says. Again, this is a message from the universe, the creator, the divine, to uh, bring us closer to our journey, to our uh, destiny, or, or something that's going to bring confirmation to us to help us move smoothly in this, this walk. Okay? So we have Ten of Sticks. Bay Starving, the image, an overburdened old woman climbs a hill to eat Cisandra fruit. It's not a plant that's easy to find, but it is known as wonderful fatigue fighter and anti-aging medicine. Meaning, positive loads being lifted, knowing when to ask for help, learning to delegate responsibilities, focusing more on self-care, taking a day off negative stress feeling burdened overworking reaching the breaking point having too many responsibilities inability to say no swimming against the tide cruel supervisors hard times struggling to make ends meet a martyr's complex Workaholism, crushing debt, exploitative labor, a life filled with nothing but obligations, and people who always put others' feelings before their own. I will we'll kind of break it down once we find out the meanings of all of this. The next one is Nine of Sticks. Plant, pepper, and an oppressed woman has finally decided that enough is enough. She protects herself with a mojo bag, a Bible, and a pistol. The skull-topped sticks represent 
the ancestors who have been waiting for her to make a move and are willing to provide assistance. Meaning, positive, defending yourself, a test of faith, perseverance, being prepared, a fight to the death, willpower, resilience, guarding your boundaries, and an attitude of would rather do than die. Negative, a defeated attitude, paranoia, refusing to compromise, having no backbone, and getting hurt as a result of trusting the wrong people. And the last one for right now is Nine of Coins. So let's see what page Nine of Coins is on. stop it start it do again okay I had to stop the video and go help my mom with something right quick but um let's pick it up from where we left off we were getting to ready to read nine of coins nine of coins so let's see golden seal a woman lounges at home with all the trappings of luxury and refinement the woman knows you're probably jealous of her so she dons a dress with a pattern that protects her from the evil eye in case that doesn't work then she has a saracenia plant nearby which is said to protect its owner from negative energy. Meaning, positive self-reliance, well-deserved success, prosperity as a result of hard work, self-employed people, property owners, inheritance, material gain, creature comforts, upscale lifestyles, leisure, time spent alone, luxury discipline, avoiding the bad part of town, enjoyment of the finer things in life, people, society, considers classy and taking the time to relax and unwind, negative, financial setbacks, hustlers, pretending to care about others for financial gain, People society considers low class, vulgar behavior, shopaholics, keeping up with the Joneses, maxing out credit cards, shallowness, unethical social climbers, snobs, and people who are obsessed with material things and status. Boy, I can't wait to find out how these cards are going to come together and give us a message. Okay. Now, I'm going to turn the camera down so this can be can let's see. Let's see how we could do this. Okay, now I'm looking at the lady toting the heavy burden on her back 
and then we have this lady coming with the pistol and then we have the third lady relaxing and lounging so let's see so this is the order this is the order so first we have the lady with the burden and then she has the gun and then lounging so what i'm gathering is you used to have a life like this caring about what other people more than you care about yourself you was a workaholic you put other people needs before yours you you had a life that was filled with burdens and problems and overload to the point you basically was burning out so as your journey went as our evolvement took place now we're at the point i wish somebody would try to put all that weight on me i don't care if it's a job i don't care if it's family i don't care if it's myself i'm not going to put no more burden on me than i can god say he puts no more on you than you can handle but we could pick up burdens on our own that don't belong to us and she's learned the lesson to not go back to a life of burdens that may not even have belonged to her she was picking up everybody else's maybe before she even cared about herself it's enough that we have our own cross to bear our own issues to deal with but then you have people that come around and you start picking up their burdens their problems their issues or you 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 you're doing things overboard board with no moderation no balance and till it's wearing you out and 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 some people get sick from all of the over overboard lifestyle overboard problems and worries and and issues you picking up everybody's problems and, and they have a God just as well as you have a God but now she does not have this lifestyle or that type of mentality anymore this is the mentality now I wish somebody would holding up that pistol and everything serious about the boundaries she has drawn she can direct you where to go to solve your problem she maybe can tell you i can agree with you in prayer i can give you advice counsel or something but i don't tote problems that don't belong to me i don't i, I want to help people but you cannot help everybody you have to be discerned to know who god has placed in your path for you to help because we have the heart to want to help you find yourself helping and it hurts you we can't help somebody till it gets to the point where it hurts us it overburdens us we've learned to say no we've learned to find out how to help somebody without it being on our plate everybody has a burden to bear across the tote themselves everybody has a god a higher power that they need to lean on and trust and learn how to allow god the universe the angels ancestors to provide we are not everybody's god that come through our path asking for help and now since we picked up this attitude 
from this mindset, from this mindset to this mindset, now you have deserved and earned to relax, to live a life of leisure. You have learned to trust that God is the universe, the angels, ancestors, is your provider. Whether you have the material gains or not, you have the mindset of royalty, of riches. You are rich in your spirit if you have, even if you don't have money or material possessions. If you do, praise God. If you don't, you have learned in life to be wealthy, healthy, rich in spirit as well and, and until or even if it don't you are rich in spirit different mindsets till you know how to trust god you know you're royal you know your priesthood because god is your provider everything belongs to the universe to god so if you're one with god the universe you're rich rich in spirit, love, joy, peace. And you can take leisure. You can relax mind, body, and spirit. So I'm not going to go any further, but the message that is coming to us is if we are taking on everybody's problems as if they are our own, listen to the ambulance listen to the siren that is a sign in our ears listen to the sirens that is not for us to pick up overload listen to the sirens if you have this mentality where you're about to burn out it is time to release it let it go and cast your cares upon the Most High, our Creator, the universe, God. Get out of the mind of being worried, of picking up, uh, being a workaholic where you're burdened down, stressed, heavy weight, heavy loads on your back. You feel the pressure. It's hurting. It's about to have you bedridden, about to just make you give up in life because you're taking on something that is not meant for you to tote. It's time to pick up the mentality of learning how the universe can provide and help. God is a present help in the time of need. Let people find out on their own that God is a present help. We are not everybody's help. We cannot help everybody. And soon you will have the mentality because you have dumped all of that excess weight and burdens of the world off your shoulders and you've given it to who it belongs to which is the creator the universe God let God be the provider the present help so they can learn how to evolve as well sometimes we stunt people growth by helping too much and if we're helping out of divine purpose, this is what happens. Because we have a heart of empathy, a heart of compassion, we tend to give and give and give. And this is what happens until the universe gets to us to say, drop all of that. This is how we will protect our, our peace, our mind peace and body peace and spirit peace this is how we will protect it with everything to not get back in that position of being overwhelmed by responsibilities of others of ourselves of or whatever the case may be once you take drop this this is the mindset I wish somebody would no is an anointed word and once you get that mindset, you realize life is enjoyable. 
Life is pleasure. Life is peace and love. We can live a life of no uh, ease, knowing that God has it in His hands. Once we give it to the Most High, we don't have to keep worrying about it. Because we know it will in time handle, God will handle it itself. Angels are a ministering fire to be there when we need it. A present help. Present help. Once we learn this, this is the mentality of our spirits, minds, and bodies. I hope the message is over is received as well as it's given drop the burdens learn how to cast all your cares and your problems and even other people learn how to cast that off of your shoulders we're not created to tote heavy weight the bible says that god's yoke is easy his burdens are light we don't need to be burdened down. God did not create us to tote heavy burdens, to walk in fear. Cast the burdens off. Learn to say no. Lead people to be able to trust God, the universe, the angels, the ancestors themselves. This is a personal, spiritual evolution between oneself and the universe this is a personal relationship between god and an individual let's learn to stay out of the way and let them find out how god can be a rescue a present help there's no need to walk in fear there's no need to walk in worry god got us all and we can learn the discernment to know who to and who not to give our assistance as well of, of the help. I love you and have a great day.